Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Lea Monnier from Libelud looking at Jelly Squad. This is a prototype, obviously. Yeah. I'm holding up a taped together <laughs> uh, item here. And who is the designer of the game? Um, a French designer, mm -hmm. Antonin Boccara. Okay. <laughs> Um, and, and this is, as you said, a prototype. You were listing uh, before we went on camera here the number of names that have, yeah, have gone many through. Many names, many themes. <laughs> many worlds you're, you're yeah. trying to create. Um, this is quite um, a final theme and mm -hmm. universe, but non-final illustration, of course. And um, many items will be changed okay. because uh, we plan to release it uh, at the end of 2017. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so maybe we just have an overview of the game yeah, and of uh, in terms of what's the basic idea? Yeah. What are we trying to um, do? This is a very chaotic party game okay. <laughs> um, and uh, also tactic. It's mixed uh, these two concepts together. Um, so um, a giant jelly <laughs> inv invaded uh, the city mm -hmm. and uh, you and your squad have to um, take some jelly uh, from this monster <laughs> <laughs> okay and um, <laughs> you have to collect more jelly than the other squad of course okay to win okay. Uh, how do you collect the jelly <laughs> <laughs> you have to win the majority on the district the district will give you uh, rewards here mm -hmm. and the rewards are the jelly okay um, so your squad are in fact dice um, to win the majority, the value of your dice are, have to be superior to the value of other dice. It's not the, n the number of dice which right. count, but the value. Okay. Okay? Uh, so you roll all your dice, you pick one, you place it, and then you have to re-roll all your dice okay. to place another one. You can choose um, any district you want. Okay to pick to put your dice um, but if the value count why not just plus six dice mm -hmm. because uh, in fact um, the value uh, of the dice uh, have effects bonuses okay so one and two are weak but they have a powerful um, effect okay. when you place a one or a two you can remove a dice from the district. Okay. So that's kind of powerful. Nice. <laughs> um, three and four, mm -hmm. you can uh, move this reward token from just one slot okay. to know uh, which reward you will have at the end of the. Assuming you are still winning. Yeah, <laughs> assuming you are still okay. winning. And five and six don't have any power because Are they're too they're five valuable. And six. Yes. Yeah. So that's the basic things. But, uh, but in there fact must be something because yeah. otherwise I would wait for everyone else yeah. to place my dice in and fact, then everybody play together at okay. the same time. So you roll your dice at the same time, you place it you place it at the same time and you apply the effects of your dice at the same time. Okay. So it's uh, very chaotic. Everybody does the things at the same time and um, in fact, when you place some, you place something on a district, uh, maybe a dice you placed before will be um, removed by someone else when when you looked right. <laughs> on a different district. So you have to be aware of what um, it uh, takes place. <laughs> because okay, and what keeps someone from waiting for everyone else to? Um, well, I'm going to watch what Leia does, and I'll just wait, and then I will in a roll and make sure that I can beat you there. In fact, when you finish to plus all your dice, mm -hmm. um, you um, start the sun timer and the other player have to finish uh, in 10 seconds. Okay. That's very short. That's, yes. <laughs> so if you just plus one dice or two waiting for the other player and somebody have placed That's all it. this, <laughs> it's okay. a kind of hurry. And um, you can place this a uh, cardboard enclosure on a district when you placed all, all of your dice and lock it in you can lock a district okay so nobody can enter it okay so um, it's very um, fast <laughs> and chaotic but also tactic uh, with the power of the dice in fact yes you can um, and of course the reward um, also made um, 
the flavor of the game. Uh, for example, in this district, uh, the first player to have the majority will uh, win uh, less points than the second one. Yes. So you have to be, you have to win the majority, but not in the first <laughs> place. <laughs> not too much. Yeah. yeah. That's, yes. okay. um, for example, again, this district is very. Um, you, <laughs> you want it because if you um, have this reward, every player will give you two victory points. Okay. But if the uh, you, reward, you have to hand them out. Yeah. So it's um, you want to win on this one, but you have to check you <laughs> check it <laughs> uh, because if you look. Uh, uh, in other district, maybe uh, somebody will uh, play we'll the token in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, you play it in four rounds mm -hmm. and uh, it's a 15 minutes game. Okay, that is very quick. <laughs> yeah. <for> everything. Okay. <laughs> I told you it's a very chaotic game <laughs> okay. because everybody plays a g play dice, apply effects, so you move dice. Every all around the, the board, and uh, that's, uh, okay. that's, uh, that's fun. All right. Thanks for the overview of Jelly Squad. Yeah, thank you.